nothing to sneeze at. When we come back, In my line of work, pain was part of the job. And that is our audience going Lou in honor of our next contestant, Lou Solomon from Brooklyn, New York, a software developer. Welcome, Lou. Thank you. The audience already is pulling for you. They want you to win, Lou. And audience, you may not know this, but Lou, you want to win all this money because you want an extreme makeover. What's wrong with you? You look good, Lou. Well, you know, 43, there's a couple of things that have been breaking apart, losing a little up there, teeth. So I figure liposuction. You don't need liposuction, Lou. Everybody needs a little No. Liposuction. You look good. What, are you, now, what would you do with your head? I probably wouldn't do the hair. Don't do the hair. Bald is kind of cute now. Bald's adorable. <laughs> you don't want clogs. You don't want, like, doll hair. It's good. You shine that. That looks wonderful. That really does. <laughs> you, I think, Lou, you're great the way you are, but having a million dollars in your back pocket, now that's an extreme makeover, okay? You don't need hair with a million dollars. Absolutely not, honey. And you're 15 questions away from it. You know the rules. You know the lifelines. Audience, one more time with the Lou. Lou! You ready to play? All right, let's play. All right, Lou, for $100. In a 1957 hit, Jerry Lee Lewis sings, goodness gracious, great balls of what? Stone, fire, frenzy, popcorn. Be fire, final answer. You've got it for $100. Don't put you under. Can I walk away now? <laughs> no, well, you could, but I don't think you should. A person's intuition is often called his sixth what? Emotion, eye, sense, soul. C, sense, final answer. Yep, you got it, Lou. Go ahead to 300 here. Who in the U.S. government has the power to veto a bill passed by Congress? Speaker of the House, Attorney General, Secretary of State, U.S. President. D, U.S. President, final answer. Yes, he or she does. You got it right. Lou, for $500 here, a teepee is a Native American dwelling that was traditionally made out of wooden poles and what? Animal skins, baked earth, snow, palm leaves. It would be A, animal skins, final answer. Yes, you got it again, Lou. Oh, God. <laughs> for a thousand. In the late 1970s, railroad heiress Gloria Vanderbilt introduced her famous designer line of what? Handbags, jeans, lingerie, bikinis. Uh, Gloria Vanderbilt jeans, that's B, final answer. Yes, it was, Lou, you have $1,000. <laughs> All okay, going for 2,000 here. Which of these activities usually requires you to wear a belt with weights attached? Windsurfing, water skiing, scuba diving, hang gliding. Uh, I'll just make sure I think this through. Okay. Windsurfing seems like it wouldn't help. Water skiing, I know it wouldn't help. Hang gliding, I don't think would help. It would be C, scuba diving. Final answer. Good thinking, Lou. You got it for $2,000. The belt actually keeps you from rising to the, the surface of the water. The belt keeps you down. Right. That's why. Go for 4000 here, Lou. Since 1982, what film critic has appeared as a correspondent on TV's Entertainment Tonight? Rex Reed, Jeffrey Lyons, Gene Shalit, Leonard Malton. Film critic on entertainment tonight? Well, when the question was first read to me, um, Gene Shalit's The Today Show, I just read this out loud, so if anybody asks what was I thinking, I can say that. Uh, Rex Reed, no, he was, um, it's um, D, Leonard Malton, final answer. 
He never mentioned Jeffrey Lyons, but you're right, it's Leonard Maltin. You got him for $4,000. Lou, you're going for 8000 In 2003, activist Shireen Abadi became the first person from what country to win a Nobel Peace Prize? Iran, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, Turkey. Um, hate me if I'm wrong. Uh, it's A, Iran. Final answer. Yeah. CBS Tonight. There is so much love in this room for Lou Solomon from Brooklyn, New York. We are on the L train that's on the fast track to a million dollars, baby. You are doing so well. You really are. You haven't used one lifeline. Just sitting there answering them. Bum, 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 bum. Hello? Uh, yeah. <laughs> are you having fun? I hope you're having fun, because this now, is like a great now, thing. Now I'm having fun. All right, Lou. As I said, a lot of love in this room for you. You're doing great. You're seven away from a million dollars. You have all of your lifelines. Are you ready to play? Yep. Okay, let's play. <laughs> for $16,000, Lou, Liar's Poker, a game popular with Wall Street traders in the 1980s, is played using what? Sports scores, newspaper headlines, dollar bills, phone books. Liar's poker. That would be C, dollar bills, final answer. Okay, audience, let's hear it. $16,000. Go for $32,000, what does the M stand for in the internet abbreviation HTML? <laughs> Tell us again what your job is. Computer geek. Okay, computer geek. <laughs> Multitasking, mosaic, mainframe, markup. The M. Uh, mosaic, for whatever it's worth, just to be geeky about it, mosaic was actually the first web browser that was created that used HTML, which stands for hypertext Hypertext markup language. It's D markup final answer. You know what? I feel so sexy when you talk tech to me, baby. <laughs> Here's your Capital One check. Yeah. To be a contestant or to be in the studio audience during our new season, go to MillionaireTV.com and sign up now. Come be a part of Millionaire. Used vehicles. All right, Lou, that 32000 that is yours, Lou. Are you ready to play for more? Absolutely. All right, let's then go. let's play. All right, Lou away from a million dollars. A performance by what actress prompted Dorothy Parker to quip, she ran the gamut of emotions from A to B? Joan Crawford, Katherine Hepburn, Betty Davis, Vivian Lee. Hmm, that's such a great quote. Um, I'm gonna use my lifeline I'm already getting to plural lifelines on this. Mm -hmm. First, I will ask our fine audience here today. Okay, audience, Lou needs your help. If you're ready, vote now. Oh boy, not a lot of help there. Catherine Hepburn got the most with 32, but... Crawford's right behind at 27, Betty Davis 26, and Vivian Lee. Fifth. 
I'm gonna, whatever it is, phone a friend. We'll uh, call my trivia master friend, uh, Noah. Noah? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get Noah on the line. Hello? Hi, Noah, it's Meredith from Millionaire. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great, I'm here with Lou. Wonderful. He's doing really well. Good. He's got 32,000. He's going for 64,000. He says that you are the trivia master. Oh, well, I hope so. Okay, well, Lou, you have 30 seconds and your time starts now. Performance by what actress prompted Dorothy Parker to quip? She ran the gamut of emotions from A to B. Joan Crawford, Katherine Hepburn, Betty Davis, Vivian Lee. Hmm, it sounds very familiar. Joan Crawford, Betty Davis. Katherine Hepburn, Hepburn, Vivian Lee. I'm gonna guess it's Joan Crawford, but it's just a hunch. Thank you. You're welcome, good luck. Thanks. Okay, so Noah thought Joan Crawford it was the second choice of the audience, just by a hair. The audience wow. thinks Katherine Hepburn. I don't think it's Katherine Hepburn or Betty Davis, because I assume that they were probably held in slightly higher esteem than Vivian Lee or Joan Crawford, who were both fine actresses as well. Um, I'm going to go for a 50-50. Absolutely. Computer, please randomly take away two of the wrong answers. Oh, well. So Noah's out of the running there, his choice of Joan Crawford. As was mine. As was yours, OK. I am going to guess, and the reasoning behind this is because of the fine actress, uh, recently passed away, Katherine Hepburn. So I'm going to assume that it's not her. And I'm going to go with C, Betty Davis. Is that a final? That's my final answer. Lou, it's not. It was Katherine Hepburn. No problem. Sit and enjoy your check, all right? We have to say goodbye for today. And we will be back next time with another Millionaire Hopeful. From New York, everyone. Bye-bye. Closed captioning sponsored by... It sounds like... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Technicians you can talk to. Monarchy. Right service. Right price. This egg has been judged America's best tasting egg. It's Eggland's best. They taste great. Mmm. They're really special. Try Eggland's best eggs.